Alright, so this is just going to be a bit of a tutorial for people who aren't too sure how to insert extra graphics into Super Mario World. This is going to be a super basic tutorial. Um, I hope to go over all the kind of little, you know, nitpicky things that Lunar Magic does just to make sure everyone gets it. Um, and yeah, because I had a lot of trouble with this back in the day, so I completely understand why people, you know, still have trouble with it these days. The process, unfortunately, isn't too much easier. Uh, and there is a little bit of a learning curve here. But if you have any questions, you know, just ask me about them. Um, although I hope to make this as... Um, descriptive as possible. You don't have to start with a clean Super Mario World ROM like I am. This can, you know, you can do this to any Super Mario World hack. Um, so just try to follow the instructions as closely as you can to what I am doing uh, in this video. Uh, but the first thing you're, you're uh, going to want to do is you're going to want to go up to Options. And you're going to want to go to General Options. And uh, let me bring this over here. I'm going to try to keep things on screen as best possible. Uh, and you want to go to where it says Use to Join Graphics Files. And you're going to want to uncheck uh, this box. And go down to OK. And then we're going to go back up to our toolbar here. And you'll see what that does. Uh, right now, just click the red mushroom, which will extract all the graphics files from the ROM. Quick Extract Graphics from ROM. And then go to where your ROM is located. So here we have my folder uh, where we have Lunar Magic, uh, SMW, and you'll see there's now a graphics folder there. And if you open that, you'll see that inside you have all the different kinds of graphics. If that box is checked and you extract, you'll just get something called all graphics. But since you did that, uh, you get them all separately. This is important because when you click um, extract the extra graphics, you're now going to get a folder called uh, X graphics. And you'll notice it's empty, but this is where we are going to put all of the new graphics that we want to insert into the ROM. Um, I went to Super Mario World Central and downloaded the Super Mario Brothers 1 uh, main level theme graphics pack. I'll link to that down below in case you want to you know, follow along exactly with what I I'm doing and inside here you'll find a few files uh, what you want to pay attention to right now are the two extra graphic ones at the top and you want to copy those or cut them or somehow get them into the extra graphics folder that was just created You'll notice on the side it says FG2 and FG3. Uh, you're going to want to remember which one corresponds to which extra graphics file, but um, when you're inserting extra graphics, the important thing is that all it says is EX, GFX, and then a hexadecimal number. Um, and everything should be ca uh, caps except the X. So if there's anything after that hexadecimal number, uh, remove it, because it's just extra information that you need to know, uh, but Lunar Magic doesn't need. So once we've done that, remember BOB1, uh, remember FG2 and FG3. Then you're going to want to click that green mushroom, uh, and you're going to want to insert everything back into the ROM. Uh, that's going to get all the um, all the graphics back in there. Um, you're also actually before we do that, you're going to want to uh, bring this map 16 file into uh, the root of where your ROM is located. Then you're going to want to click the yellow mushroom. So if you see this, it means that you haven't inserted graphics with the green mushroom yet. So what you're actually going to want to do is you're going to want to click no. You're going to want to go up, click the green mushroom, and then the yellow mushroom, and then everything will be inserted just fine. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to click the red mushroom here, and this will bring up the Super Graphics Bypass. You're going to want to click this box, and then you may notice some, uh, some things here that you remember, FG2 and FG3. What you're going to want to do is switch FG2 uh, to, B, to B0. to And if you notice, if we scroll down here, it says a whole bunch of things aren't inserted, but since we just inserted B0, you'll notice that uh, those two are kind of different. So FG2 as B0. Um, although I should note that when you're inserting extra graphics, um, it has to be something after 7F. So it doesn't have to be BO and B1. Uh, just as long as it's 8O or higher, uh, you're good. And sometimes the graphics uh, files will, uh, uh, sorry, the extra graphics files will for some reason recommend a number to use. Uh, but it's not necessary that you go along with their recommendation. It might cause a few problems if they have like sample levels if you don't. Uh, but anyway, that's what you want to do. And you'll notice that all the graphics kind of got garbled. But since we're using the extra graphics files anyway, it doesn't really matter that the original Super Mario World uh, doesn't look the way it used to. What you're going to want to do is you're going to open this kind of section here and you're going to want to scroll down a few pages. You'll know that there, uh, we have kind of the, the regular Super Mario World things here. But you're going to want to go down to probably page at least um, X3, I'd say. So if we're here, so you'll notice how you can kind of do that. Just press up and down and you'll be able to switch through the pages. And then you want to press F3, which will bring up this, and you might remember that map 16 file. Open that up, and there you go. There are the Super Mario Brothers 1 graphics that we just inserted. Uh, although they're not ready for use yet, you've probably noticed that the colors don't really make much sense. And that's because there's one kind of final piece to this. Um, and what you want to do 
Actually, before we do that, uh, let me just go in here and show you. You can access these graphics and uh, place them in your level by clicking that kind of turn block in the toolbar, and you can place them uh, from page 3, which is just exactly where we inserted them. But they don't look quite right, so we're going to go to File, we're going to go to Palettes, we're going to Import Level Palette from File, uh, and we're going to go to our Super Mario Bros. 1 folder, and we have a palette file, which now makes everything look exactly as it is supposed to look. And now your graphics are ready for use uh, in the level. So delete all the garbled original Super Mario Brothers, uh, sorry, Super Mario World things that you no longer need to use. And yeah, just you can do things like insert the ground. Uh, you can't insert them like all at once. There's no way to like just insert a, a giant mass of land. You kind of have to insert everything piece by piece. Um, but it's not so bad. Uh, but that's the gist of how you insert um, extra graphics files. So you just have to make sure that um, you're not using joined graphics files in the options. Uh, make sure that you're putting your different files in the right place. And uh, it's not super tricky once you get the hang of it. I hope that this has gone over it quite well. Um, and as you'll see though, there's lots of pages for you to insert um, different graphics, so you don't really need to worry too much. Uh, you can insert background graphics as well, and it works quite similar. Um, like when you do is when you go to the 16 by 16 tile map editor, you'll realize that if you scroll down far enough, you eventually get to the background area. So you can't insert um, background graphics in the same area as the foreground graphics. If you're inserting a background, you need to go past page 41. So at least starting with page 42, uh, and press F3 there um, when you're inserting the, the background graphics tiles. So Otherwise, it won't work if you insert them up where all the foreground stuff goes. But yeah, now once you've got that, you're going to start inserting a whole bunch of different stuff. And remember, a lot of, sometimes graph, certain graphics won't be compatible with other kinds of graphics. Um, there are tricky ways to sometimes kind of get around that, but overall, um, hopefully it's okay if you can just you know stick with the extra graphics files you're using. Hopefully you didn't have too much desire to use too many of the original Super Mario World graphics with like you know the other graphics you're planning to insert. Like question mark blocks and everything are still fine. Uh, you'll see. Although um, things like you know the main kind of level graphics for things in Super Mario World probably won't uh, be too compatible with these things. But otherwise, there you go. That is how you insert uh, extra graphics into Super Mario World. I hope that helped. And yeah, I'll have one for Sprite Tool coming up soon. So thanks for watching. I hope it helped.